To Be Like Jesus, written by Ellen G. White. Tis the blessed hour of prayer when our hearts only bend and we gather to Jesus, our Savior and friend. If we come to him in faith, his protection to share. What a balm for the weary. Oh, how sweet to be there. Commuting with God, January 8th. Our prayers will be answered. For then you will have your delight in the Almighty and lift up your face to God. You will make your prayer to him. He will hear you and you will pay your vows. Job 22, verse 26 and 27. And his prayer for his disciples, Christ said, I sanctify myself that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. In his prayer, Christ includes all those who shall hear the word of life and salvation through the messengers whom he sends. Can we by faith comprehend that the fact that we are beloved by the Father even as the Son is beloved? Could we indeed lay hold of this act? We need to indeed have the grace of Christ, the golden oil of heaven poured into our poor, thirsty, parched souls. Our light would no longer be fitful and flickering, but would shine brightly amid the moral darkness that, like a funeral pall, is enveloping the world. We should, by faith, hear the prevailing intercession that Christ continually presents in our behalf. As he says, Father, I will that they also, whom thou hast given me, be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory, which thou hast given me, for thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. Our Redeemer encourages us to present continual supplication. He makes to us most decided promises that we shall not plead in vain. He says, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, it shall be open unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. He then presents the picture of a child asking bread of its father, and shows how much more willing God is to grant our request than parents are to grant their grant their child's petition. Our precious Savior is ours today. In Him, our hopes of eternal life are, con are centered. He is the one who presents our petitions to the Father and communicates to us the blessing for which we ask. Blessed hour of prayer, blessed hour of prayer. Oh, what a balm for the weary. Oh, how sweet to be there. Join us tomorrow for another devotional reading by God's grace. Until then, may God bless you and keep you, and may his wonderful face shine upon you.